Hello mga kawawmat! In this video lesson, we will discuss about conditional propositions. Our objective is to illustrate different forms of conditional propositions. Okay, suppose P and Q are propositions from the conditional propositions if P then Q, we derive three other conditional statements, namely, converse, in contrapositive, and inverse. So, kapag uh, meron tayong given na conditional statement, uh, makukuha natin yung converse by getting the, uh, using this, no? Uh, Q, if Q, then P. And then also, makukuha natin yung contrapositive statement, yan naman ay gagawin natin if uh, not Q, if not Q, then not P. So, Yung inverse naman, if not P, then not Q. So, dun sa previous video lesson natin, dun sa example number 5, uh, dinerive natin, no? we uh, verify na yung P, if P, then Q, ay equivalent, meron dung dalawa na equivalent sila. So, mamaya, na ipapakita natin. So, using the truth table values, no? the lowest, uh, theorem of the equivalent values, so, pwede natin kunin no, na ito, yung if P then Q ay equivalent sa, so yung conditional statement natin ay equivalent sa saan? Okay, sa contrapositive. No? They, are, they are equal. So, yung truth values nila ay equal. So, gamit itong table of, uh, yung loose na ito, yung, mga, ito no, yung truth tables natin, Okay, so, pwede natin i-derive na ito ay equal dito. So, first, uh, ano yung pwede natin gamitin dito? Uh, the switcher or law, no? Pwede natin, yes, that is correct, no? Pwede na, kasi yung P, if P then Q, so, magiging ganito siya, not P or Q. So, switcher or law ang first na gagamitin. And after that, okay, so, mula dito, Okay, pwede tayo mag, okay, after nito, yung not P, that is Q, so not P, that is Q, and then, uh, itong Q natin, gawin nating not P, so babalik na rin lang natin, kabalik taran lang, no, not P, then Q, and then, that's the De Morgan's Law, and then after that, inigate natin, yung Q natin, pwede natin kunin yung negation nito, Okay, so that is negation of Q, uh, negation of the negate of Q, so parang negative times negative yan, so that is positive, so magiging ano na lang yan. Okay, so that will be equivalent na lang sa, okay, this is negative times negative, so that will be, so may negation of Q pa dito. So I think, wait, tanggalin ko lang yung isang symbol class. Okay, so after get gamitin natin yung double negation dito. After nyan, gamitin natin yung double switch zero. Okay? Gamit yung double switch zero. So, from di, mula dito, so magiging ganyan na lang. So, not Q. If not Q, then not P. So, they are equal. So, pwede nyo balikan yung previous video lang. So, natin, kung nahihirapan kayo sa ganito, dahil may truth table, ah, gamit naman yung truth table natin na ah, verify natin na they are equivalent. Okay, next is, ito naman, if Q then P. So, equivalent naman siya sa, if not P then not Q. So, first, uh, since ito yung given natin, using the commutative law, no? Using the commutative law, pwede natin pagbalik na rin na. Commutative law. And then, after that, so, after that, uh, using the double negation, so, ito double negation natin. So, ito ay commutative law, no? So, ginawa natin yung sigda commutative law. So, first, uh, ginamit natin yung switch zero. And then, nag-commutative law tayo. pinagbalik natin. And then, next is, kunin natin yung double negation. No? The double negation nito, that is, okay. So, and gamit rin yung uh, switch zero. Okay, gamit yung switch zero natin. So, ibig sabihin, yung if Q then P ay equivalent sa not P, if not P, then not Q. 
Okay, consider the following true conditional. So, ito lang ang laging yung tandaan class kapag ganito, kailangan ma-identify niyo yung P natin sa Q. So, dito, kadalasan makukuha natin yung P after ng word na if. Okay, so yung P natin, makukuha natin after sa word na if. Okay, yun, kasi conditional statement to eh. Okay, and then yung Q natin, after ng word na then. Okay, kung nung sa grade 8, diba, ito yung hypothesis natin at ito yung conclusion natin. So, yung P natin is the hypothesis and Q yung conclusion. Ngayon, tingnan natin class, okay, kunin natin yung tatlo, no? tatlong conditional statement. Okay, so we need to find the converse, contrapositive, and inverse. So, first, yung P natin, kailangan natin ma-identify. So, Lance is in grade 11. And then, yung Q natin, he is a senior high school student. So, kapag kukunin natin yung converse, contrapositive, and inverse, so, susundan lang natin yung mga, ito, yung parang formula, no? Parang formula yan, no? That is the, uh, itong symbol na to, yung magsasabi sa atin, yung mag-guide sa inyo. So, to find the converse, so that is if Q, then P. So, yung Q natin dito ay ito, at ito yung P, tama? So, So, magiging ano natin dyan is, if Lance is a senior high school, so, nauna ito, para babalik na rin nyo lang yung conditional statement natin. Pag converse class, babalik na rin nyo lang yung conditional statement natin. Okay, so, if Lance is a senior high school student, then, he is in grade 11. So, binaliktad lang, no? Ito yung given natin na conditional statement. And then, pag, pag ginawa natin yung converse, babalik na rin lang natin. So, kung titingnan natin, this is not necessarily true. Kasi class, kung senior high school yan, so pwede rin na si Lance ay grade 12. Tama? Kasi yung senior high school ay pwede grade, nasa grade 11 siya or nasa grade 12. Ang contrapositive naman class, uh, ito, yung gamit yung converse, lalagyan lang natin ng word na not. Kasi ba diba, Q, tapos dito may negation. So, parang gagawin nating negative, no? Kung pa, from positive to negative. So, since may negation siya, kung dito ay, if Lance is a senior high school student, lalagyan lang natin, kadalasan na ginagamit nating word is not. Okay? If Lance is not a senior high school, then he is not in grade 11. And that is true. Tama. Kasi class, bakit? Kung ibig sabihin, si Lance, kung hindi siya senior high school, hindi rin siya grade 11 student. Tama? Okay, so that is true. And then, yung inverse natin, yung inverse natin, if Lance is not, so susundan lang natin, so yung P natin is Lance is in grade 11, so lalagyan natin ng not. No? If Lance is not in grade 11, then he is not a senior high school student. At hindi rin yan. This is not necessarily true. So, makikita natin, class, na yung conditional statement natin, yung conditional statement natin, and then yung contrapositive natin ay equivalent. Pero pag dito, uh, yung converse saka inverse natin, they are equivalent also. Okay? So, I hope na intindihan paano kunin yung converse, contrapositive, at inverse. Okay, another. If it's consumed in a large volumes, then chocolate can be harmful to one's health. So, ano yung P natin dito? So, yung P natin dyan, it is consumed in a large volumes. And then, yung Q natin, chocolate can be harmful to one's health. So, pag kukunin natin yung converse, so, mauna muna yung Q. So, ito yung Q natin, di ba? Tapos, ito yung P. So, if chocolate can be harmful, full to one's health, then it is consumed in large volumes. Yung contrapositive natin, not Q, so lalagyan natin ng not, okay? So, tingin tayo sa converse, eh, not Q, not P. Okay? So, not Q, not P. So, kapag may ganito, yung symbol na yan, negation, so, maibig sa maglalagay tayo ng not. Or, uh, babalik na rin natin yung statement, no? If chocolate cannot be harmful to one's health, then it is not consumed in large volumes. So, since can, no? So, cannot ang ginamit natin. Okay, sa inverse, so, tingin natin. So, not P. So, ito, not P. So, 
If it is not consumed in a large volumes, then chocolate can be harmful to one's health. Okay, another example. Okay, so no. whenever she will given the chance to perform on stage, Leia will sing all her classic songs. Okay, so itong statement na to, pwede natin isulat as, If she will be given the chance to perform on stage, then Leia will sing all her classic song. So, ayan nga, na lumabas na, na ito yung P natin at yung naka-underline naman yung Q natin. So, kung kukunin natin yung converse, contrapositive saka inverse, so yung converse natin is if Leia will sing her classic songs, then she will be given the chance to perform on stage. So, nauna itong Q natin. And sa contrapositive, not Q, if Leia will not sing her classic songs, then she will, uh, she will be given. No, she will be given. Dapat so wala ito. Tanggalin natin yan. Okay. So again, so if Leia will not sing her classic songs, then she will not be given the chance to perform on stage. So naglagay tayo ng not no sa Q natin, naglagay n sa P. Dito naman, mauna yung P natin, so pero lalagyan natin ng not. If she uh, will not given the chance to perform on stage, then Leia will not sing all her classic songs. Okay, another example. If at least one student sleep in class, then Jane give a difficult quiz to wake up the students. Okay, first, ang P natin dito is yung at least one student sleep in a class and then yung uh, Q natin Jane give a difficult quiz to wake up the students okay so pag kukunin natin yung converse if Jane gave a difficult quiz to wake up the students then at least one student sleep in the class pero kapag kukunin natin yung contrapositive if Jane did not give a difficult quiz to wake up the students then, no students live in the class. Kasi dito, at this one. So, dito, no student. Okay? Yung inverse natin, if no students live in class, then Jane did not give a difficult quiz to wake up the students. Okay, this is the last example. If there are no corrupt people, there are no poor people. Okay, so yung P natin are, there are no corrupt people. And then, yung Q natin, there are no poor people people okay so kung kunin natin converse if there are no poor people then there are no corrupt people and contrapositive if there are okay ito kabalik taran class so since meron tayong word na no dito so ta, dito naman sa contrapositive wala dapat yung word na no okay so hindi nyo lalagyan ng not kasi may no tayo dito so if there are poor people then there are corrupt people. So, if there are corrupt people, there are poor people. Okay? So, that's it. How to determine the converse, contrapositive, and the inverse of the conditional propositions. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.